today I'm going to show you guys how I do um, like a leopard swirl. I'm going to use one of my brand new colors called um, Rose Your Golden. It is like a rose gold. This has epoxy on it, um, just a very thin layer. This is about maybe five milliliters or less on a 30 ounce skinny cup. And I'm just gonna let it spin and slightly tap as it spins to create a pretty heavy swirl. Let it spin back around and try to get it before I kind of want these colors that I'm going to do to blend a little bit. So go really concentrate it a lot in the middle. And then is when you really want those thick lines. I kind of want a thicker swirl here. So I'm going to go really concentrated a couple times. right in the center. I do like my swirl pretty diagonal, so when you get to one side of the cup, you see every color. Um, when it comes around, you can kind of see more of what I'm talking about, but make this swirl pretty thick, pretty wide. And I'm going to start holding this up a little bit higher. That's what will kind of make it blend better, not give it these distinct lines. It's nice and easy. Keep going around slowly. Don't rush it until you get the thickness of the swirl that you want, the wide. And the farther you sprinkle, it'll kind of just bounce and kind of give it that natural fade. Almost there, we'll go on to the next color. So that's what I'm talking about when you can see this swirl color, like it eventually catches back up with the beginning. Make sure there's enough on there in the middle. With the epoxy method, if it looks shiny or wet in some spots, you need to add more glitter. This is like a semi-chunky glitter, so um, this usually will hold it down pretty flat and good. Hopefully I can remember to switch out my papers so I can save my glitter. If not, it becomes a custom mix and you use it on another cup. But my next color um, that I'm going with is in the navy. It's a really pretty true navy which is kind of hard to find sometimes this color is really pretty kind of same thing I'm gonna start farther away so I can blend those together this stripe won't be quite as thick as the rose gold I want the rose gold to add the leopard, so you need that band a little bit thicker. It's 
sprinkle up higher and let it kind of bounce and do its thing, fill in all that white. My arm gets tired from tapping. <laughs> I'm going to leave that and come back in a minute. Set my blue paper to the side. Put a clean one underneath for my next color, which I'm doing um, Wild Heart. Same thing, really concentrated in the center. further away to kind of help blend those together. I'm not really pouring it, I'm just tapping it. I'll get it to pouring consistency and then I'll just tap it where, where I want it. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go over all of these to make sure that they're covered. Um, you can kind of see my blue looks a little flat and doesn't give that dimension of glitter, so I need to add more of the navy. You wanna add on the epoxy method, you want to add where it doesn't look flat anymore. Okay, I'm gonna go back, set this one to the side. Go back with my rose gold, make sure this is all covered. These bigger chunks are bouncing everywhere. Now I'm just going to watch this spin for a second and I'll go back and do, um, come check it and see if there needs to be any more glitter added. Make sure it doesn't look flat or shiny. If it does, add a little bit more and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we are on to the next part. This cup has been spinning long enough um, that it's dry. And I already kind of started because I had to play around with colors that I wanted. Um, I have a little bit of Mod Podge. And I mix a tiny bit of just acrylic paint in it. So when it dries, it doesn't dry opaque. I like a really solid background. I'm just going to do the Leopard on the Rose Gold color. And do it pretty sporadic. And I start with the center. You're gonna to wanna to leave a little bit of a gap because, well, you can do what you want, but I like to go back and add just a few spots. So um, I try to concentrate on not making lines and not putting them too close together. So I probably would do another one right here. And I just grab a little bit of paint on a paintbrush and I dab. It's not really a circle. It's 
not really an oval. It's just kind of a messy blob. You can go as big or as little as you'd like. Now, since this does have white acrylic paint in it, you want to get your color on there quick so it doesn't dry white. Go through and do your spots. I think I'm going to do one more right here, just maybe a tiny one. Once you get all your pink spots on, you'll go back and do the black after your pink is dry. Got a little bit too much paint on there. Take some off. Keep going all the way to the bottom. Um, I'm not just concentrating on just the center. I do kind of want some of the spots to come over the wild heart and in the navy but just kind of keep it in that section. Once your pink is dry, which I might be rushing it, but we're gonna, we're gonna head that way. Um, most spots on a leopard or cheetah um, don't go all the way around. Um, if you need to have like a picture of your phone or iPad or whatever, and you can have a picture of a cheetah print in the background, and just kind of try to follow what they do. But it's not a solid around. All the time. It's just these kind of, I don't know, I think they kind of look like peanut shapes. Let me change my paper out here. onto the black. The pink I used was Sugar Plum for the center of mine. Um, and I chose to use um, Private Jet. It's not like a super, super black. It's like a charcoal black. I just kind of liked the look of that better. Not so bold. Same with between, they're just kind of little rounded shapes that are irregular. Some are just dots. Well, I wouldn't even say dots, but Oh, 
I'll add another splotch down in here and probably one in here. But you guys get the idea to just keep going around. On the well, mine is rose, like the rose gold, but on whatever color you decide to do, just keep going around till you get to the bottom. My cup is all done and it has been sealed with a spray sealer a few times. Now I'm just going to add a coat of epoxy. I want to try to add this layer as thin as possible. I'm going to add some micas and maybe a little bit of chunky glitter on the swirl part that doesn't have the cheetah print. I chose two micas that I felt like matched and went with this cup with the colors. And I have two chunky glitters that also coordinate. And epoxy to spread as soon as you can over this glitter. You don't want the chunky and the mica to move too much. Okay, it's pretty good. If you feel like you've got too much on, just kind of push it off. I've got a little cup over here that I'm putting it in. to the bottom here. I got a light pink mix of um, mica and epoxy here. This is kind of a light pinkish purple. And we're not gonna go too heavy handed. We don't want this to get too crazy. 
but check my epoxy here one more time. We're just going to do it on the, the navy and the pinkish purple. We're going to leave the cheetah alone. Let me turn this off for a second. And just add a little bit of chunky, not too much, just to kind of break up that swirl line a little bit here and there. Now when I have a, a chunky that's a little bit chunkier than what I used, I prefer to just get a little bit in my fingers and drizzle it where I want it. I have more of the control that I like. And that is all I'm going to do. So just a little bit to help break that up. Then I'm going to take my mica and I'm going to string it on my stick. I want this pretty thin, so I'm going to let it drip in the cup for a minute till it gets thin. Just kind of drape it over in sections. lightly spread that out so it kind of spreads nothing too much Now we'll go on to my next color. Spread that one out also. I accidentally dripped right there, so I'm going to bring that one down. Just kind of want this little light soft swirl it kind of breaks up the harsh line 
of the two combined. Then you're gonna let this spin. You can add your decal and do another coat and it's all done.